we have a little bit of interaction. We can power out a turn one Silvergill Adept and then um, go. Well. So unfortunately, it'd be nice to maybe run out both Curse Catchers, but we need something to cast a Silvergill Adept with. I think it's still a keepable hand. We're going to see an extra card with Silvergill. Um, we've got a clock. We have a little bit of interaction with a Wasteland and a Metal Misstep. Um, they're mulliganing to down to five now, which makes the Wasteland potentially better. So I'm feeling better about this decision. So I think we run out the Silvergill Adept. And just see an extra card. Might draw into like a Force of Will. So Silvergill Adept is actually one of my favorite um, cards in the Merfolk. Um, you know, it's two mana. Usually you're going to draw a card. And later in the game, uh, you know, all it takes is one Lord or two, and it becomes a 3-2 a or a 4-3 um, unblockable attacker. So it's just a, it's a super strong card. I think it's maybe like a little bit um, under the radar in that sense, where it might, it might not appear to be um, quite as strong as it is. And a lot of the merfolk are like that. That's one of the reasons I really love playing merfolk is it's it's kind of like playing interaction um, with creatures. Um, you know, curse catchers are pretty good. I think we... I don't know if we care about them seeing our hand. I'm going to keep them off a card though because I'm kind of on the mana denial strategy. And I don't, I don't want them to draw into lands. Because ideally they're going to have to run something out here that I wasteland. So I don't. Um, so I think next turn will probably be Curse Catcher, Curse Catcher. I think I'm okay running out of the Cavern of Souls. So we'll just build up a board presence. Um, hopefully they crack that fetch and we're able to catch them with that Wasteland next turn. So Mox Jack, a Taxing Probe, have a Flooded Strand. This might be Storm, in which case the Merfolk, uh, I mean the Curse Catchers are looking pretty good right now. So I'm going to kind of assume that it is Storm, and I'm going to switch out. I think I'm going to switch out that Dismember with the Surgical Extraction just in case they play Paradoxical Outcome and uh, if I'm able to counter it and maybe nab it from their graveyard. Maybe a Stifle is better, but I've never been really impressed with Stifle in, there, in that matchup. I don't think there's anything I'm going to need a Chain of Vapor. Um, I'm running Chain of Vapor in case there, I see something like Mo or Magus of the Mo or um, like a Blazing Archon, uh, something I like I just can't beat based on how I win. So that would be something like an Ensnaring Bridge or a Moat in their deck, and I I, I don't think they run the um, the right mana to cast Moat, and I don't think I've seen Ensnaring Bridge from the Storm decks. I think they just kind of try to go faster and just beat you. Um, you know, in the early turns. I 
Okay, so not a bad hand. Um, I think we're going to keep it, especially since we're up a game. Um, it's got the interaction with the missteps. Um, if they're on Storm, you know, basically you're, you're hoping to catch a, like, Soul Ring or something with those. Um, Gataxian Probe. I don't know that there's a whole lot that the Metal Missteps counter. But that's one card. So they got a mental misstep of their own. I'm still going to mental misstep here, I think. Because like I said, I mean, besides Soul Ring, I don't know that there's a whole lot that they run that the mental missteps are good against. So we're definitely going to run out a... I think a Curse Catcher this turn one. No, this is even better, so... We'll just Wasteland that. Try to slow him down a little bit. Almost get past that Curse Catcher. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this is Storm. So that's a pretty good backup plan. They only have one card, so hopefully... I think we're going to strip mine off the Seed of Synod. And maybe wait a turn. I think I like that. So that takes them off of Mox Opal, and now they're going to have to draw into another um, free artifact spell to start getting that uh, Monastery Mentor going. So that's unfortunate. Looks like um, they're going to kind of start getting uh, a board built up with that Mentor. So I kind of had him on this um, Paradoxical Outcome Storm deck, and it looks like, I mean, it still might be, um, but I really wasn't expecting this Mentor. Um, I did side out my Dismember. Kind of makes me think about if I lose this match, what I'm going to bring in. Is everywhere. I'm a dirty but it looks like they're still maybe um, stuck on mana. So I think I want to run the Lord out first, and then hopefully uh, time walk next turn. And then that way I still have a little bit of pressure if I need to sacrifice the Curse Catcher. I get a little bit more damage in. And if they're not able to cast anything off of these two um, artifacts, then we can start winning the race. So they're building, or they're getting the token here, but they're not going to be able to cast that Mox Opal, or they're not, able, they're not going to be able to use that Mox Opal for mana. I think that's good for us. I'm fine taking the damage here. Especially since we're going to have this time walk. So do we want to Surgical Extract anything? There's not really a whole lot that... I don't really want to run this out into a Mental Misstep, which is something they can actually still cast and get another token. So I think I just attack here.
and then play an island and time walk. And hopefully I don't have a force of will. So another Lord would be great. Curse Catcher is not too bad. So if I run it out, even though it's uncounterable, they can still try to mental misstep it and get a token. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack first. So we'll see if they have another misstep. Which they might do just to get the token. So that, that is what they're going to do. So that's why we attacked first. I think we're still in a good spot. Um, provided they don't draw any other mana sources. So true name is very good. And I think we're just going to sit behind this true name and just attack in next turn. So we've got the curse catchers that we can hold up in case they try to do anything. Uh, like if somehow they get into like a mox into a paradoxical outcome. So good games. All right, so now we're up to two and L, which means I should probably update my. Or two and one, I mean.